Was 90 Day Fiancé cast member Mohamed Abdelhamed looking for a green card sponsor or love when he slid into Ive Erlano's Instagram DMs? Mm -hmm. Mohamed Abdelhamed and Ive Erlano's 90 Day Fiancé season 9 relationship has made fans wonder why the Egyptian man fell in love with the single mom in the first place. 48-year-old I from Albuquerque was in a relationship for close to eight years and engaged, until she realized that she and her ex were very different people. They had different attitudes about looking after their child, Theron, who has special needs. A licensed acupuncturist, I've separated from her ex eight years ago and was then approached by a 25-year-old man from Alexandria on DM. Ive was taken aback by Mohammed's six-pack and even wondered if she was being catfished by the Egyptian god. However, in 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 Episode 16, Ive and Mohammed got married, to everyone's surprise. The couple had never really discussed what things would be like once he arrived in America. On his Key One visa, conservative and religious Mohammed had differences with Ive, and wanted her to convert to Islam and marry him in a mosque. By that point in time, Ive had promised to give up a lot in order to align with Mohammed's beliefs. She stopped eating pork, only drank on special occasions, and got rid of the revealing clothes in her wardrobe. However, Mohammed still didn't approve of her outfits. I'm not going to marry a woman wearing a bikini anymore, Mohammed once said in an episode claiming he would fly back to Egypt before the 90 days ended if I've continued to dress like her friends. However, as per Yves' own confessional from the 90 Day Fiancé YouTube channel, it was a picture of her in a bikini on Instagram that inspired Mohammed to slide into her DMs. Ive had posted the swimsuit photo with the hashtag hashtag FitBuddy, which Mohammed saw. He then messaged her, so nice profile. I've had told herself, oh my god, he's hot, how can I not like respond to that? Within just two days, Mohammed and Ive started video chatting. An enamored Ive started talking to him multiple times a day. The age thing just doesn't matter to us, Ive claimed. Two weeks later, she and Mohammed admitted to one another that they were falling in love. After two months, Ive got herself a plane ticket to Egypt. We got engaged pretty much as soon as I got there, an excited Ive told 90 Day Fiancé fans, who think that Ive was blinded by love and unable to realize that Mohammed was after a green card, rather than her heart. As per an interview that Ive gave to E.T. before meeting him, 90 Day Fiancé star Mohammed had been previously engaged and didn't want to get married. She told her mother, and I don't think he necessarily was looking either. However, when he saw Yves' picture and went to her profile, he thought she was the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. Egypt was somewhere that I've wanted to visit for the longest time, and she feels like the stars aligned when she met Mohammed. She flew to Egypt in September 2019, instead of in October 2019, as she planned with a friend. Our first meeting was like two people that just hadn't seen each other in a long time. Mohammed was able to see Uvi's soul and was someone who had her back. However, there was a shift when Mohammed arrived in the U.S., which Ive says could have been his frustration from all the waiting they did. They had to deal with COVID-19, visa paperwork, and the fact that their wedding needed to be rescheduled a couple of times. As fans watched Ive and Mohammed tie the knot on 90 Day Fiancé, there was chatter that he cheated on her, with some alleged texts between Mohammed and a supposed girlfriend leaking on Instagram. Mohammed's urgency about wanting a green card and warning Ive that he might get a new sponsor hint that his feelings for Ive were fake from the start. Perhaps the only couple on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 that fans thought were doomed is Mohammed and Ive. Viv has certainly turned a blind eye to Mohammed's obvious red flags, and it's a mistake that she might live to regret.